The best thing about this wipe of Escape from Tarkov is that a lot more weapons have been made not only viable, but also incredibly strong. So today I want to go over an incredibly cheap weapon build that's also going to be a laser beam, and it's going to be good for most parts within this wipe, and it's even going to scale to be very good in the end game once you get better ammo. And something else that's really cool about the build we're going over in this video is that it's using a very iconic rifle, and this is going to be the G. 36. This thing is very iconic across other FPS games. I'm sure everybody's used this in older Call of Duty titles, and it's just a fan favorite, and a lot of people like to use this weapon in FPS games, but it wasn't very viable before this wipe, but now it's very good, and you can make it very cheaply. The entirety of this build we're going over with four full mags of ammo and 60 additional rounds is a little over 210,000 rubles, and the entirety of this build is going to be made up of items you can get from rank two traders. So starting off, you're going to go to Peacekeeper and you're going to go down. You're going to be able to get the weapon itself for 487 USD, which is around 70,000 rubles. Then you're going to go over to Mechanic Rank 2. And the first thing you're going to buy is a new stock. So the G36 adjustable stock, this is much better than the one that comes on this. And it's only going to be 14,000 rubles. You can sell the stock that comes on it to make a little bit of that back. And that's going to be one of the biggest stat increases you can get on this weapon. And and it's very cheap. Now this gun already comes with a full top rail so you can put whatever sight you want on it but if you want a decent sight for cheap you can go over to Prapper rank 2 and you can get the Valde Cretchet which is only 14,000 rubles. It's a decent sight and it's really good for the actual price but you can put anything you want on the G36 as a full top rail so you can put full scopes if you want or any other hollow sights. And then for your tactical device you're first going to go over to Peacekeeper rank 2 and you're going to get the G36 side handguard rail. This is only nine USD. And then you're going to go over to skier rank two, and you're going to get the bald R pro, which is a flashlight plus a laser. So you can have both of them on at the same time. Very cheap tactile device, but you can put any tactile device you want on this. This is just going to be a very cheap option. That's actually pretty good. And then there's already a bottom rail on this weapon. So you can just stay at skier rank two and you can get the RK four, which is another 9,000 rubles. This is definitely the best grip you're going to be able to get for this price. Now there's actually two pretty good options for a muscle device and a silencer. The first one is all going to be from traders. The second one, you're going to have to buy something from the flea market. So first off for the first silencer option, you're going to go over to Peacekeeper rank two, and you're going to get the Silencer Co. Thread Mount Adapter. Then you're going to go over to Mechanic rank two, and there's a barter for the Hybrid 46 Suppressor, and this is going to be four sticks of RAM. Now these RAM usually sit at like 10 to 15K. Currently they're at 10 to 12 12K. So if they're around 10 to 12K, it's going to be a decently priced silencer, but you also have a second option that may be cheaper. Now for the second option, you're going to go over to skier rank two, and you're going to get the surefire flash hider, which is only 5,500 rubles. And then you're going to have to buy the suppressor from the flea market. And there's going to be three different silencers that can go on that flash hider. There's going to be the tan surefire, which is sitting around say 45K average right now. There's going to be the mini monster surefire. Now this is part of a gunsmith quest so it's probably not going to be cheap to buy right now and then there's the normal surefire monster this is the one you're going to want to go for because this one usually sits right at around 30k like you can see here there's a ton you can get for 30k or even cheaper and depending on how expensive the ram is from the first silencer we went over this will probably be cheaper all depending on that ram price but either option is going to be pretty similar in the price and they're both going to be pretty similar stats and for the magazines, you're going to go over to Peacekeeper, you're going to go to rank two, and you're going to be able to get just the G36 30 round mags. Has a limit of 12, so you can buy quite a lot of these before you need to maybe use a different weapon. Now for ammo, you're going to have a decent bit of options once you get up to this level. You should be able to get M856, which is going to be the worst option, but if this is all you have, this is what you're going to be able to buy. You can also get FMJ, which is better than M856, but I'm not sure if this is actually unlocked from a quest, and there's a cap of 300 so maybe if you run a ton of these you may run out if you can buy fmj buy fmj if you can't buy m856 
Now, if you have a rank three peacekeeper, you're a bit higher level, you can just buy M855, which is gonna be better than both the other rounds we went over, and you can buy an infinite amount of this. You're not really gonna have an easy way to get a hold of any better ammo than M855. But that's the entirety of the build. And like I mentioned, the entirety of this build, including four of the 30 round mags we went over, all filled with ammo, and an additional 60 rounds of the FMJ ammo, this is a little over 210,000 rounds rubles. Now this is also using the barter trade-in for the silencer. So like I mentioned, you may be able to actually cut off a little bit of that going with that surefire silencer. But either way, a full weapon with all the mags you need, all the extra ammo you need, a silenced weapon with a really low recoil with a sight on it, that is a very good price for a very good weapon. Especially at this point in the wipe, this is still a very good weapon. And this weapon is super good. It's a laser beam. It's obviously going to be silenced with a sight. You can put any sight you want on it. So once you get better ammo, once you say start to get to 5.6A1, this weapon will just get better. You don't really need to change much on it for it to just get better as you get better ammo. And one other potential tip with the G36 is that it is a weapon that can be in three round burst. Now three round burst is actually usable this way, but you should really only be using it if you're trying to say snipe somebody and you're doing a three round burst and then waiting a bit and then doing another three round burst. If you're close or medium ranges and you're trying to spam with burst fire, it actually has a lot more recoil than normal full auto. It's going to bounce up and down much more than just spraying full auto. So close medium ranges go full auto, but if you're say seeing someone much further out, you may want to try burst and may actually do better at those longer ranges. But that's all I want to go over. So thanks for watching. Попал в него! 